Hey everybody, John here from IncomeMesh.com, and I have some exciting news for you guys who are Elementor fans. So, a new blog post just released today on Elementor's blog, and they're introducing a monthly template kit. Now, this is nothing new for all the all those of you who have uh, agencies and you found other template kits out there. I'll talk about some of their competitors in this video, but this is great because Elementor's built-in template kits are going to include everything you need to build out a fully cohesive branded website using nothing but Elementor Pro. And this is huge because Elementor Pro is a very easy to use drag and drop builder. I'll put some links in the description below with some of my tutorials and videos on Elementor Pro as well as my review of it. Uh, but this is fantastic. And in this video, I want to compare this uh, library kit with probably their biggest competitors, library kit, and show them that you, you, you can be excited for what this has, but it has a way to go. I'll also in this video build out a full website using these template kits to show you how easy it will be for you to launch your own business as this library grows over time. So what is their biggest competitor? More than likely, I would say that Elegant Themes Divi theme is the biggest competitor for Elementor, especially when it comes to their template library kit. Uh, let's just be honest. Elementor has a long way to go before they can, uh, if they ever would catch up with uh, uh, Divi, which I don't think they're really trying to. Uh, Divi, I think right now they're releasing a template kit almost weekly. Uh, they are going bananas when it comes to templates. And you can see here, if you wanted to launch an agency, you can come here to Divi and find an agency layout pack. And you can pull in an about page. You can pull in a blog page. Everything you really need to get a, a a website up and running quickly uh, that is already built for you in Divi, uh, which is fantastic. My wife has used Divi for many years. She absolutely loves it. She recommends it to her audience, and I recommend it as well for a certain type of audience. Uh, this is a little bit limited when compared to Elementor because they don't have the built-in pop-up feature. They don't have the ability to uh, build headers and footers, and all these templates also do not include these elements. So if you want to have a fully cohesive branded website, uh, Elementor is going to be an option for you, but I'll be honest, it has a ways to go. So let me show you that by actually building a website from start to finish with this new feature and functionality. So inside of a new website here, we can come over to, let's just go to a page. So you can see right now we're starting with absolutely nothing. So the first thing I want to do on this website is go ahead and go into themes. And let me just use the theme that I like to use for any sort of vanilla website. If there's not a specific reason to use a certain theme, I stick with Astra. Has the easiest customizer. Works for me. It doesn't slow down the website. What more do you want? And it really doesn't matter here because we're going to fully customize the header, the footer, everything in this video in just a couple of minutes. Okay, so we got Astra installed. So now if I take a look at my website, you'll see here, okay, that's looks nice looks like what we want to look like so let's go ahead and do the header first the footer second and then we'll start adding some pages into this process so i'll come here back to my dashboard and we'll come to templates which is an elementor pro uh version if you don't have elementor pro you're welcome to use my affiliate link i'll put it in the uh, description below it's incomesh.com slash elementor and i'll come here to theme builder and this is where it's really, really fun. I'm going to come over and I'm going to build a new header. And I'll say, let's make a header. And then it will off offer a name. I'll just call this digital agency header. And I'll create the template. And so built into all the other blocks and templates and pages that Elementor gives you as part of their pro package, they're building in entire packs and you just have to know what to look for. So if you look for a digital agency, it will actually show the one they've just put out into their library today. So right now there's one in this new pack. There's several overall, um, th there's several templates within the Elementor Builder kind of pack, but this is their new focus on putting something out on a consistent basis because that has been a lacking point when it comes to Elementor. Okay, so now we have a header. There's not a whole lot going on here. Um, I'm going to leave this. I'm not going to design this too much right now. Uh, we'll come back and do a menu once we've built out some pages. And we have a logo here. So let's just go ahead and... Remove, th remove that and call this our site logo instead. So we can control the logo on the customizer. We'll do that later on. Okay, let's publish this. Add a condition. We'll put this on the entire site. Doesn't look like a whole lot yet, but that's okay. Just follow along for a second. Okay, so we have our header. If we come back to the site, 
we'll see that header should be published right here at the top. Now let's go ahead and build in some pages. We'll do a home page and about page, some of the standard stuff you would expect to see in an agency uh, website. So I'll just title this one home page. I'll publish it. I'll head over to Elementor. And now here, instead of going to the plus and building from scratch, I'm actually going to get rid of that and go here to the folder. And within the folder, if I start typing digital, it'll show you the digital agency homepage, about page, services page, social media, clients, contact, etc. So we'll come here and take the home page here and it'll insert it directly into your page. And you can already see this looks like a business website. It's already set up for you. Um, can't get a whole lot easier than that. So this is our, our first um, our first template added in here. And what you'll notice, I'm going to try to go slowly. You, you can see they've also built in a lot of their motion effects and some pretty advanced features where if you, if you look closely, you'll see there's some parallax going on between this image and the background. There's just a lot of, of really good care taken into these, uh, into these templates here. You'll also see they have a button down at the bottom that hovers, and this is actually built into Elementor. This isn't something that is using a different plugin or anything like that. This is built into Elementor, which is really cool. And you can use these as almost tutorials to teach you how all this works, which is great. All right, so we have a home page. Let's go ahead and update this, and we'll come to just view the page, get out of the editor, and that looks great. So let's build two more pages together to show you some of these uh, some of these templates. We'll build an about page and we'll edit with Elementor. And again, we'll come here, we'll search for digital, and we'll see the about page. So I'll go ahead and insert it, and here you go. Already looks very nice. The color scheme is is already kind of put together. Where this pop up here, this is exactly on brand with everything else that's going on here. Let's go ahead and update this page as well. Let's actually take a look at this little pop up here. So this says it's it's set for a pop-up and it'll open all pop-ups. That's not what we want. Let's go ahead and build a pop-up next and actually kind of tie these guys in because that might be one thing that requires a bit of work over time. So let's, we've saved this guy. We'll view the page. Now let's come back in and do a new template because pop-ups are templates. We'll come over to pop-ups, add new, and we'll call this agency pop-up. And we'll create a template. Alrighty. So again, if I search for digital, oh, look how beautiful that is. So this is their new one here that was uh, just put in for this pack. This is great. So I'll go ahead and insert this. Oh, and fantastic. So they were also building in their new motion effects into this pop up here. Look how freaking cool that is. I love this. Alrighty. And you would obviously come into the form and configure the form to do something. You probably want to add it to your uh, email autoresponder as well as send you an email with their information if you want to. Uh, but that's going to work for us here. And when we publish the pop-up, it's going to ask us where you want it to deliver. Uh, you could put up some pop-up rules, but just for the simplicity of this, I'm only going to invoke and call this a pop-up in when I click the button at the bottom of the screen. So we'll save and close this. Oh, I love it. Good job, Elementor. And I'll come back here to view the page. Let's head back to the home page. You know, now is a good time for us to go ahead and get that menu to actually pull in the pages we're creating. So let's come here and edit the header by hovering over Edit with Elementor, and we can select the header here. And now under Menu, it says there are no menus. So come to the menu screen, and we'll call this one Main Menu create it and now we can put the about page here and let's just put the home page there as well kind of give it a logical order save the menu and now i'll exit this screen and let me go ahead and just hit refresh to make sure that i can get that menu back on my elementor builder i'll select oh and look at that it's already here it's already pulled up so now we have a fully functioning um, menu system there. So now let's view the page. Looks good. I should be able to click back and go to the home page. Boom. Works perfectly. If I click this little button here, I want that pop-up to show up and it's not. So let's go ahead and make the small edit we need here to make that happen. I know I'm going quickly, but this is just to show you how quickly you can get a website up and running that's not just a basic uh, drag and drop website. All right, so now the pop-up here, we'll click pop-up and we'll choose, I think I called it digital agency. Oops, there you are. There we go. Agency pop-up, not digital agency pop-up. 
All right, and I'll update this and let's test this. Boom. Oh my goodness, how beautiful is that? You know, there's a lot we could do here. Like what I would like to do is make this a global template so that I can, you know, just plop this guy on any web page that I build. And if I ever change that pop up, it'll change everywhere throughout the website. Um, I won't do that for this simple tutorial. I really just want to show off this template pack for you. You know, one thing we have to do, I can't have this empty placeholder. So let's come here to our customizer. And now if we hover over, we'll need to go to our layout and header and site identity. And now we'll be able to select a logo. So let's see if there's anything here I want to actually use for my logo. Um, let's just use this little blue ball. I'm going to skip the cropping so it'll just be a, a square. <laughs> and here you go. We have our, our agency logo here. Probably not the best logo in the world, but it'll work for me. And I'll exit out of here. Great. So this is already looking very professional. All of this is drag and drop easy to edit. Uh, there is probably never a better time to buy Elementor than right now. If you want to do uh, you know, beautiful design work and have a lot of flexibility, Elementor is an awesome option. You know, on my incomesh.com website, I am using Thrive Architect right now. I like a lot of their conversion features, but for my agency site that I want to start building on my own, um, I do intend on using Elementor because of some of these awesome features here. So that is a first look at the new template library kit that's coming to Elementor Pro. Uh, if you are looking to build a digital agency, it might be the right time for you to switch over to it. If you have other clients in other areas, don't, don't stress out. There are plenty of different ways you can get templates into Elementor. It's probably the, the most populated template library in all the page builders. It's just not been something of a focus for Elementor itself. Envato Elements is one that has a lot of template kits in there. I think I have a YouTube video on that as well. Uh, so there's plenty of ways for you to get templates into your business if you want to you know, improve your efficiency. And if you're not a design-oriented person uh, like me, it can be very helpful for you. Um, but anyways, I hope this video was helpful. If you're looking at uh, your page builders and you haven't decided yet, I do have a quiz that will help you decide uh, which page builder is right for you. You can head over to IncomeMesh.com slash stack. And that'll help you decide your digital marketing stack. I hope this video is helpful. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.